Hey everyone, welcome to Dapper Dash. Today's video is going to be short and straight to the point. I'm going to teach you how to leverage the Unicar or Unichar function in your dashboards and accomplish some really unique visuals. Thank you for supporting my channel and let's dive right into it. Okay, so what is the Unicar function? So the Unicar function returns the Unicode character referenced by the numeric value. So if we look at the DAX syntax, what it does is it takes a number and it returns a character. So what is a Unicode character? So I have a website here and both of these links are in the description. So this website here shows me a list of those characters, those Unicode characters and the respective Unicar number. So what happens is if I were to grab one of these numbers and plug it in to my Unicar function, the result would be this character right here. So let's take a look at how this works uh, inside of Power BI. So I have this sample column, okay, and this column right now is just set to the number 100. But we want to start leveraging the Unicar function. And remember, this function takes a number and returns a character. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our function. And what number are we going to pass it? Well, that really depends. Let's grab any number from here. In this case, I'll grab the clown. And if I pass it this number, this should return the clown icon. I go ahead and hit enter, and there it is. Let's look at another one. Let's just grab one more. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Maybe we'll grab these sunglasses here. Plug it in, and we get the pair of sunglasses. Now let me show you a few different things that you can do with this before I show you the other demos. Obviously use it to return a single character. But the other thing that we can do is we can also combine it with almost concatenate this with another character. So if we go back and we select this robot here, we can go back, plug in the number, and now I get the robot, right? And you can see how I can chain these. I can go back, grab this icon here, plug the number, and then I have a series of this. Now, the other thing that you can also do with this is let's go back to just one real quick. And this is really where you're going to start seeing the connection between your data set and this function. I can use a function like repeat. So this repeats a text a given number of times. So in this case, our text is going to be our icon. And how many times do we want to repeat it? Uh, maybe this is coming from a column in your data, right? Maybe you have level of anger between one and five and this person is a level three well it would show three different icons maybe the next person is a level five it would show five different icons now that might not make a lot of sense but what happens if we use a different icon like this right here maybe we use a star you can quickly see how perhaps this can become a rating system you know, what, what was the movie rated out of five stars? Maybe it was rated two, right? Maybe the movie was rated four stars. And this can be a column from your data set. And that's what I want to show you in this next demo. So in this demo, real quick, I have a list of different Mario Kart characters along with their speed, their weight, their acceleration, and their handling on the Mario Kart course. What we're gonna do is let's take a look at, for example, Waluigi. Waluigi has a speed of four, and a weight of six, an acceleration of two, and a handling of eight. Now using the star, remember the star character that we used? This is the dashboard that I came up with. So Waluigi, speed of four, weight of six, acceleration two, handling of eight. And we're able to accomplish this using the Unicar function and I can switch between different characters and you can see how these stars change okay maybe if we go down to someone if we want to compare Bowser to someone like Mario for example we can see that Bowser is really low in speed the weight is not you know it's not on Bowser's side acceleration is slow but the handling is outstanding Mario seems to be overall pretty well averaged in just about everything Okay, and in these visuals here, if we go back and take a look at our data, if we look at Toad, right, speed of six, you can see this custom function, this custom column that I created right here. Remember, it's just using our Unicar function, 
we're passing this number and that number is represented by this star right here and all we're doing that is we're repeating it however of number of times that shows up for the speed okay in this case the speed is six therefore we see six stars the handling is two therefore we see two stars under the handling icon and that's how I can leverage it in a unique dashboard uh, like this and I'm going to show you a different one a different dashboard just to show you another use case but I really really like this one I like the ability to show the stars you can use this for movies you can use this for ratings uh, you can use this in this type of comparison where you want to see how great something is at something that's the unicar example with Mario Kart let's go take a look at example number two okay in this example we have a table of different types of alcohol desert wine gin beer applejack barley and we have a column called alcohol strength from a rating of one through five this is how strong the alcohol is one being sort of the weaker and five being the strongest i want to create another column to leverage an icon to show instead of just the number four maybe it shows me like we used in the stars right maybe it shows me four stars but in this particular case since we're working with alcohol i want to find another icon that works better so i'm gonna search for this icon here so one two seven eight six 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 is actually this beer icon and i'm going to go into my alcohol data and i'm going to create a new column I'm going to name this my icon column. We're going to use our unicar formula. Remember, this is going to return the beer. And I'll show you what this looks like. So let's drag that into our table. And right now it just shows one beer, right? And that's where the repeat function is very useful. So if we go back here, right, and we use our REPT, our repeat function. And how many times do we want to repeat this icon? Well, we want to repeat it equal to the alcohol strength okay the alcohol strength is this is the column that shows how strong from one to five the alcohol is so once we add the repeat function in there now we can go look at our table and you see the visual now so now you can see applejack has an alcohol strength of two represented by two beers we can also sort let's go sort by the strongest alcohol in this case, we're doing the weakest first. So your basic beer, ciders, uh, kombucha, liquors. What is the strongest alcohol that we have on here? Coco Roco, vodka, uh, rum. It looks like these top ones here are an alcohol strength of five, alcohol strength of four. So you can see how you can leverage the unicar in a table or in some sort of visual. But I want to show you one more trick that you can do here now i know and i've told you that this rating is out of five but what if the audience doesn't know that what if i want to use maybe the header to show how many possible beer icons are available right instead of having this say icon what if i want this to be the number of total possible alcohol strength and we can do that because Excel and Power BI leverage the same function. I can use the unicar function in Excel, type in my number that represents my beer, hit enter, and there's the icon. Now it might not look the same, but the icon's right there. And let me show you what we can do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit copy, I'm gonna go back into Power BI, and I'm gonna rename this icon, this column. Instead of naming it icon, I actually want to paste the beer and what I can do is I can paste it equal to the number of, of top, the maximum alcohol strength, in which case I know that this is five. So I did one, two, three, four, five. And believe it or not, this is actually now going to be the name of our column. So if I hit enter, take a look right here. And let's go click back on our table. All right. This column is no longer called icon see and i i didn't know that you could do this and so this is pretty neat that you can name a column really a unicode character any of these characters can actually be the name of your column 
I can grab this character here, for example, go back into Power BI, click on my column and change the column name. And if I click out of it, you can see the red balloon is now in there. But anyway, this, this lets me see that this is out of five. Out of five possible alcohol content, this is the rating. And it's also, you can see that the column name is over here. So that's another unique way to leverage the Unicar function. And let me show you one more. Okay, the last thing that I wanna show you is how you can leverage the Unicar function in perhaps an if or a switch statement so that you can change between different icons. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a what if parameter. And my what if parameter is actually gonna be called my mood. All right, maybe I wanna show from a scale of one to five how happy someone is. So it's gonna be a maximum of five, minimum of one, and increments of one, and let's just default this to one, that's fine. I'm gonna hit okay. And here is my mood slicer or my mood parameter. Okay, and the next thing that I'm gonna do here, let's bring in a card so that we can see our character, our unicar character. And to, into this mood parameter that I just created, I'm gonna create a new column. And this is gonna be my mood icon. Mood icon is going to equal, and I'm going to do a switch statement. So what do we wanna evaluate? Well, we wanna evaluate the parameter. Okay, so we wanna use our mood value. And we're gonna evaluate the parameter when it equals one, we want it to return a, okay, when it equals one, that means this is the saddest mood. So let's go find a really sad face. Okay, right here. So for one, let's go grab maybe the saddest face, this one right here. So we're gonna copy this one, paste it here. Okay, and we're gonna do this five times. Because remember, this is out of five. Okay, so if it equals two, we're gonna grab a slightly less sad face. Maybe this face right here. If our mood equals three, this is gonna be more of a neutral type of face. Maybe this one. If our mood equals four, we're gonna grab a, a smiley face, right? We're happy. And if our mood equals five, we're going to grab a super happy face. Uh, this one right here. And anything else, we're just gonna return a super happy face. We're gonna close our switch statement, hit enter. Okay, let's see if this works. So let's start with our sad mood. We're gonna go back to our card here. We're gonna bring in our mood icon. Okay, let me just take away some of this. And remember, if our mood is one, we're really, really sad. If it's two, we're not as sad. If it's three, we're neutral. If it's four, we're happy. And if it's five, we're really happy. Okay? So you can see how we can leverage the unicar function inside something like a switch statement or an if statement. And you can use this in your KPIs. If someone has a grade of 80 or above, you can show perhaps a really happy face, right? If someone got a grade 50 to 70, maybe more of a neutral face or a neutral star or a yellow color or a red color if someone placed really low. And you can see that with all the characters that are available, I mean, the possibilities for your KPIs are really endless. I mean, th there's a lot of use for a lot of these icons and they may just look like simple icons or simple emotes. Some of these are probably available in your phone. Actually, I bet most of these are actually available in, in your Android or in your Apple phone. And it may seem kind of silly or kind of simple, the things that you can do in Power BI. But when you look at a bigger dashboard like this, I mean, it's really, really unique, right? It's, re it's a really unique visual and it's really easy. And it's already built in the Power BI system. The Power BI uh, system is made to be able to 
leverage these types of icons using that unicar function. So I hope you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this really, really quick tutorial. Hopefully something uh, helps you out in your own dashboards. And hopefully I, you know, if, if you can leverage the unicar function in some unique way, if you do, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to see a screenshot of some of the work that you guys are able to do. And if you enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe and help my channel out. And I'll, I'll catch everyone next time.